Hello and welcome to Direct Mail Monday 10 10 22. Steve Cypress here with a sequel, a follow up, an update to a Direct Mail Monday episode from, I believe, just a few weeks ago. We now have the third in a series of postcards to share with you. So if you weren't here, or you don't want to scroll back, here it is postcard number one. Received a few months ago to a dance studio nearby with a lesson special. Two private lessons plus one practice party. No explanation of what the heck that means. And we discussed uh, not using value selling, not telling me what it regularly, what first of all, what it is, what it regularly costs. Uh, just telling me that special is $99. So I guess that's good. I hope it's good because they're advertising it. But, you know, what does it mean? What What is a private lesson? and a practice party. What's a practice party? I invite 10 people over to practice, one, two people, I don't know, private lesson, is that one person, two people, is that for half an hour, an hour, 15 minutes? Is it normally $499, normally $199? What, what's going on? You got plenty of room. It's an oversized postcard, you got plenty of room on that side, plenty of room on the other side to explain the whole thing. Uh, anyway, hopefully, I mean, you almost can't fail with direct mail. It's the number one bang for your buck, of course, in all of advertising and marketing. So you almost can't fail just by doing anything. However, uh, if you fixed a whole bunch of things on this one, like I discussed when I first showed it, probably 10 or 20 or 30 times uh, the return on investment or more. So that was postcard number one. Then postcard number two came about a month later. Identical postcard except for this box up at the top. There it is. Where is it? There it is. Grand opening. And I have to turn around to be October 6th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, otherwise identical, front and back. So same, still not explaining this, not really selling it well. Uh, however, grand opening, October 6th. Why I was, you know, I, we talked about this. Why isn't there anything about the grand opening? What's going on? Second of all, why? How can I get a grand opening postcard a month after I got the postcard for no grand opening? So that's a, a smart tactic, delaying the official grand opening until you've gotten your feet wet and got the location going a little bit, especially here in uh, way too hot and way too sunny southern Arizona, where I believe I went to their website and they opened sometime in the spring. Well, the summer is not a great time to be doing promotions. You do it now in the fall, and you gear up for the winter. That's our season down here up north. In the U.S., it would be the opposite. You would want to do a grand opening like in the spring and gear up for a big summer, but, you know, kind of ramp down in the winter when people are not as much out and about here in the summer. We're not as much out and about. Anyway, there's the mention of the grand opening, and I think I suggested that this postcard really should have been all about the grand opening. Well, here it is. This received, uh, this arrived a couple of days ago so here it is oh oh my, no it, I, i'm guessing it must have arrived a couple of weeks ago uh because grand opening was october 6th right so here it is same flip side of the postcard exactly as the other two but now it's all about the grand opening way to go well done they got some background partying type of stuff cutting a ribbon there and some confetti and uh you know, cool gold look, special event. And now the two lessons in one party are only $49. Whereas they were $99, must be present to redeem. So still no explanation what the heck that means. And now they've got a shorter explanation. Instead of two private lessons in one practice party, it is two lessons in one party. The same thing, just not as even less described. I absolutely now don't understand anything about is that an hour, is it half an hour party, is that for 10 people, 2 people, 1, 5 people, like what's at the party? Is there cake and champagne? Is there, what's going on at this party? Is there all types of different types of music? Is there only one type? Do I get to pick? Do they pick? Is it a party, meaning maybe my beautiful wife Michelle or one couple out of 5 couples or 10 couples? Or the, no explanation about what this is. No regular price other than if I remember, and of course, since I am an advertising and marketing consultant, an expert, I keep these things, so 
I know that that lesson special, as they called it, was $99 for the two private lessons in a practice party. Now it's $49, half price. So that sounds like a good deal. And here we have an asterisk. New student intro special. Oh, I guess that's what it is. The new student intro special is that you get half price on the old two lessons in a party that I don't understand what it is. Hopefully, I was going to say nobody does, but hopefully somebody does. Not likely anyone receiving this does, which is kind of the point, is it not? And then come join us at a grand opening celebration is the headline. Unfortunately, not giving, giving decent reasons to attend, but not spectacular, fantastic reasons to attend. So live music, door prizes every half hour, silent auction, photo booth, general dancing, group classes, professional performances. That does sound fun. You got plenty of room on this postcard. You could both make the postcard bigger if you need more room. Might add a nickel of postage uh, to really jazz this stuff up. Jazz uh, is a uh, no pun intended, as they say. I don't know if they're dance jazz dancing here, but um, door prizes every half hour. How about a total of eight thousand dollars in door prizes, one every half hour. Or door prizes from $100 to $500, awarded every half hour. Uh, silent auction of what? Photo booth. I guess people kind of know what that is. Uh, uh, but I, you could still jazz it up saying free photos in our fun photo booth. Uh, use that most powerful word in all the marketing and advertising, free. Uh, you know, it says free to attend here. I'd use it over and over. Uh, and I would even give more than this. So what about food? If it's six hours from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., I'm guessing, almost undoubtedly, they had some kind of food and drink there. Otherwise, how can they expect anyone to stay more than a short time? 4 to 10 p.m., there's got to be food and drink, right? No mention of it anywhere. So it's a grand opening celebration. Again, I'm, I'm uh, well, I shouldn't be amazed because most marketing and advertising by small business is terrible. And this one is fairly bad, not absolutely terrible, but come on now, it's got to be. Food and drink, or had to be. This was uh, four days ago as we were recording this. Um, so I would have put, you know, free food, free drink, free that. And I, and I would describe the food. You know, I was famous in Chicago, my Chicago and Sharpest Entrepreneur's annual holiday party. I pulled out all the stops, and I would have open bar, uh, free champagne. Uh, I'd have fantastic gourmet food. I'd have shrimp, lobster, uh, steak, you know, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, and I would say that. I'd have a uh, professional photographer. I'd say, dress up, and we'll take, you know, photos for your Christmas card or whatever, like come dress to kill free massages, free the, you know, you can talk to other business owners in the area to provide some of their services, which they're very likely to provide. Uh, uh, someone that does massage for a living, they bring over their table, and they do some free massages for six hours here. Maybe they get a couple of clients out of it, which means they'll make hundreds or thousands of dollars in the long run from it. So, and they might get more. So they might be happy to do that and so on, right? So this could be done a lot better, but at least they finally did come out with the grand opening postcard. I hope it was a big success. I hope it was a huge hit. However, if they would just go to mymilliondollarad.com, they could get my help or go to any other expert that knows what they're doing. They likely could have made 10 or 20 times the money from this event by doing it much better. So hopefully you're doing that or, you know, again, you don't have to find me, but hopefully you're finding someone that knows what they're doing. You know, I don't know anything about dancing or teaching dancing but i certainly know how to fill an event how to get people coming in and how to pay for dance lessons and dance parties that i know there's other people that know that too if you don't want advice from me i'll point you in the right direction of somebody else but you know i say a lot i had a wise mentor years ago that said successful business people do what they do best and they delegate the rest Obviously, whoever did this is not an expert in advertising and marketing, so that's not what they do best. They do best teaching, dancing, you know, I don't know, that's about it. They're teaching and dancing and running their business, paying the bills and hiring people and whatever, but 
what they do best is not advertising and marketing, not putting together a winning event or a winning postcard. For that, find someone that is. Delegate it to someone who's an expert. Come on now. That's what successful people do. They do what they do best. They delegate the rest. That'll do it for the sequel, the update, on the Fred Astaire Dance Studio Grand Opening Marketing by way of postcards. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, 10, 10, 22. Thanks for being here today live. Thanks for watching on the replay. And I will be back again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday, over and out for now. Bye-bye.